the 9th of November, um, the border between East and Ger West Germany was opened, right? And on the 10th of November, my parents actually took me to the wall, to the Brandenburg Gate, where we're standing right now. So this is me when I was 10 years old, 30 years ago. I remember that I was really scared of falling down because it was quite high. But that all these people were like really happy, really joyful and sort of I lost my fear of falling down by this whole ambience. the East Side Gallery. This is a pretty touristic spot because it's uh, one of the few parts where the wall is still standing. Most of it was torn down in the 90s. The history of the, the German separation, it's all about dictatorship and not really about that it's something that is still so, so near us. There is still a, a, a huge part missing on a reflection what the East actually was and what it meant to people and what it meant to, to a political system. with my parents and my older brother. Up there was my room most of the time, next to it my brother's room. Like for days after the wall came down, my mom would bake this cake and there were always these strangers sitting in our kitchen. She was preparing the cake because she was waiting for relatives from Dresden, but she had lo lost contact so she couldn't, she couldn't really call them. And um, because it, they didn't show up, we, our family, had to eat this cake every day. My dad got so sick of it that he went onto the streets and just invited random people from the East to join us upstairs and to have cake and coffee. Now we're kind of in between, in between the border, like we're behind the wall. And this was the part where there was a lot of military and they protected it from people wanting to cross the wall. A really close relative of mine tried to cross the wall when she was 18 years old, so my age now. But then they got arrested and she went to prison. I mean, there were a lot of good things about the East, I think. And I think we don't talk about it as much. For example, the role of women and work and their right to divorce their husbands and their right to uh, get access to abortion. Getting into these, uh, these stories and these understandings on how, how a system can be different from our system today really influences me in my identity. It's the defensive um, that I have to take when, when people attack the GDR in the sense of that it was a stupid system that nobody um, that nobody believed in, and that now we're the United Germany again. We're posting the story that is um, the Berlin Wall crumbled and ice melt cake, and also Ashby's illustration of it. So, together with this library, Temple of Schöneberg, we actually founded a project, Media Workshop Encounters. And um, one day, Alvaro had a workshop for storytellers and illustrators. In this workshop, I told my story, I shared my story, and Ashby decided to come up with an artwork, yeah. an illustration of it. So, basically I tried to illustrate the whole story into one picture, and there's like a tea party on the Berlin Wall. I want to make it super colorful and it gives hope and inspiration to people who are fighting for freedom. What we later found out when we were discussing our stories um, was that actually um, there are still a lot of people and politicians believing in walls, believing in division and actually Ashby is from Hong Kong so she lived now all, this, uh, all these experiences of people fighting for freedom. I think what I liked a lot about her interpretation is it's so much about sharing and this is what I lived in my parents' kitchen, sharing stories. And through sharing my stories, I 
like all these different connections came up. Um, so here we're in an area in Berlin called Prenzlauer Berg, and I grew up here. We're in front of a bar named uh, Tomsky, and I have a lot of I connect a lot of things with this bar because my parents met here, and then me and my friends we kind of took it over. I see change here. Um, I see how every, everybody of the old renters gets kind of kicked out because of the gentrification process. It's really interesting to see that and also to see the places that really stay. For example, this bar it still holds ground. I think my parents, by bringing in these strangers into our kitchen, they connected me with, um, with others. And it somehow affected my life in a way that I was always interested in meeting others. And now this turns out to be my job, actually, creating encounters between different people. We need to look at this time more carefully and include ideas of socialism, the ideas that I think work good in our political system nowadays. By questioning this process here, I think it's a perfect example of, of a, um, that can impose a process of reflection, and I think that's good.